Okay, we have a Navi Elevate tablet. No power, uh, won't charge, or at least it doesn't appear to charge. Plug it in, no lights come on, press the button, nothing happens. Uh, many people mistakenly assume that this pinhole right here is a reset. It's actually a microphone. Unlike most other Navis, this does not have a reset button. So uh, the only way to reset it, unfortunately, is to open it up and disconnect the battery. The good news is it's not really that difficult to do. Um, just use a heat gun, uh, warm it up all the way around the edges. I've already done that on this one. Of course, you need a spudger uh, down the right-hand side here. Now, this if the power button is on the top, this will be the right-hand side. Uh, basically, you just uh, reach back oh, about a third of an inch or so, and you can peel the adhesive back a little bit less, more like a quarter inch on the top and bottom, and only about an eighth of an inch down this side. Uh, if you reach in too far on this side, you can damage the cable. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pop this out. As I said, I've already loosened it. Now, if you were replacing the screen, you're, you're basically there. Um, you can see that there are two small screws that hold down a plate. Underneath that, there's a simple clip, just like on an Apple device. Uh, that's all there is to replacing the screen. Uh, but what we're interested in for our particular repair is actually what is directly below that. You can see there's a piece of yellow tape. You just peel that back and underneath the yellow tape is a power connector. This is the type that lifts upwards. It doesn't slide sideways. So we lift it upwards like that, count to about five and then put it back. And you do have to be a little bit careful. Uh, this plastic clip is actually very flexible. It's easy to get the pins in the wrong places. And I don't even want to know what damage would happen to it if you did that. So just make sure you get it straight. Put the tape back down. And there we go. It's coming back on. That is all that there is to it. The only remaining step, of course, is to glue the screen back down, which I'm going to use some 3M double-sided tape for. Uh, that's essentially just like any other device with a screen that's glued in. Unfortunately, there is not a wonderful tape for this. Um, the good news is this particular device you know is going to be used inside of a case, so at least that's going to help to keep the screen in. But um, that is all that there is to it. Uh, feel free to comment and ask questions. I'll see if I can help you out, and uh, good luck with your repair.